Matt talked about the politics of Hollywood in great detail. Every day. To the point where it was difficult for me to edit it out of this film. He was saying things about the CIA manipulating scripts and the military censoring films and how there was a sinister side to Hollywood and how everyone had an agenda. And how many mainstream films were fundamentally brainwashing people. He wanted to take me to see a reporter who could illustrate how security services operate in influencing Hollywood. Jesus. <laughs> oh, dear. Hello? Hey, my name is Jacob Van Mess. We're in the process of moving. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, David. Where would you like us to go? Oh, this is the living room, same place. Sure. Um, for some reason, I thought you were about five foot five. You're enormous. <laughs> have you got copies of all these? Or are you yeah. To... Yeah, you can I have it. better read them. That, uh, you can have it. You uh, seem to have made a career based on investigating kind of skullduggery. The cover page is the copy of the brochure that they give out to Hollywood producers on cooperating with the US military and making films and TV shows. People should know that their kids are seeing some, a product that's been tampered with by the military and that their kids are being basically recruited. David Robb is one of the few people in the world to have gained temporary access to a private collection of documents that detail military cooperation with Hollywood. This is the actual script from Wind Talkers. There's a character in the script called The Dentist. And what he likes to do after a battle is to go around and pull out the gold fillings of Japanese soldiers. I have actual documentary footage of a Marine pulling out the gold fillings of a dead Japanese soldier. It's a war crime. The letter that uh, the Marine Corps wrote, this has to go. They don't want the face of war to be a dead Japanese soldier with flies buzzing around an American pulling the gold teeth out. That's not the face of war they, they want a heroic face of war. The 1940-41, Germany was overrunning Poland and all over Europe, the, the Nazis were attacking other countries, and the United States wouldn't get involved until we're directly attacked. Now the people will go to, to, to war at the drop of a hat. After the hugely unpopular war in Vietnam, the Pentagon needed to revamp the image of the US military. Films like Top Gun spearheaded a government initiative that recruited young people and prepared the public for a wave of all-American violence overseas. Inspired by the Pentagon's success in Hollywood, the CIA and even the White House increasingly edited film and TV scripts in exchange for money-saving deals and support, using on-screen entertainment to portray themselves and their interests in a positive light. The constant drip, 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 drip of having military propaganda inserted into American entertainment product has had, a, I think, a terrible effect on the, on the American psyche. Since the late 1980s, the United States have used military force in 16 countries, challenging not only dictatorships, but popular governments and functioning democracies.